Hi, tell me about yourself and why you are here today. Hello, my name is Ezra Ozkan. I am 18 years old and I currently go to sixth form. I study sociology, politics, Turkish and art. I am an only child. Um, both of my parents are Turkish and I grew up with a schizophrenic father. You have mentioned your father having schizophrenia. What was your life like with your father? Growing up with my father, there were some pros and cons growing up with him. Both of my parents um, were wed and married at 15 years old and they really didn't have a love relationship. It was more so on the uh, fighting side. They weren't really in love with each other and so the house would be really in a really bad unstable mood. Constant fighting, constant unstableness really. Um, inside. So growing up, I would say I was really lonely, not having any siblings. So I grew up in a really unstable environment and that really did have an effect on me. When did you find out your father was schizophrenic? I found out that my father was schizophrenic when I was uh, really at a really mediocre age. I would say I was around 12 or maybe 13 when I found out my father was schizophrenic. I was quite upset when I heard that my mother told me that my father had a mental illness. I thought the father I knew and loved was a regular father like the rest. But growing up in the environment I grew up, I knew something was off. But knowing and told that my father did have a mental illness really did upset me. When you found out that your father is schizophrenic, did you do any research? Knowing that my father was schizophrenic, um, I knew the amount of trouble my mum was going with living with my father and myself. So when I searched into what schizophrenia was and is, I would say that the media is a big platform and can provide you with a lot of information. And when I did research about schizophrenia, it did say side effects and what type of behaviours and symptoms um, it did show. However, if you were to really be aware of schizophrenia. I wouldn't say that the media had much to actually give for a person actually interested in schizophrenia. So I had information in front of me, but but actually living in a house with a schizophrenic person actually really taught me more than what was given to me through the media and social media. How did your father treat your mother? My father and mother relationship was good, however, my father and mother with each other was quite the opposite I would say. They both didn't love each other. It was a forced marriage and it was constant shouting, constant fighting. I wouldn't say their relationship was the best or the greatest. They did though put on a show I would say for myself. They cared about me so they would put on this loving image so I wouldn't be aware that they would hate himself. But slowly as I grew older, I realised their relationship was quite bad. How did your father treat you compared to your mother? My father, if I said that my father didn't treat me well, it would be a, a total lie. My father loves me. He still does care about me. He calls me every day. He tells me that he loves me as well. So the way that my mum and dad had their relationship was bad. But with me, it was really different. He loves me, he treats me so well, and I will say that plays a part in what society and how people would judge people depending on their mental illness, but my father actually really loves me. Do you believe the stigma surrounding schizophrenia? I do think there's a big stigma around schizophrenia and just mental illness in general. People always assume that mental illness or any type of negative thing that a person could possibly have that's not up to their control is obviously going to be a bad thing. The stigma around schizophrenia, not just schizophrenia obviously, is quite negative in my opinion and I think it's really unfair that the people who don't have control over their illness are treated in a different way. Did any of his family treat him differently because of his illness? My father was definitely treated differently because he had schizophrenia. Like I said, my mum and dad didn't have a great relationship and the same applies to his family as well. We would live on the same street as my cousins who 
is my my father's actually siblings his sister and once my parents were my parents are currently divorced and once we left it's like he wasn't there anymore even just generally to be honest they would have a connection but it would be very small like maybe once or twice every few years they would be in contact with them so it was quite upsetting knowing the fact that they really didn't care much about him it's like almost he didn't exist which is actually quite sad however they still obviously visited him a few times do you want your friends to know about your father being schizophrenic i would have to say no to that i would be quite upset if my friends reacted in a way i did, don't want them to if i told my friends that my father was schizophrenic and they had a quite negative reaction it would break my heart i know that people are quite judgmental what they don't know and a topic of mental illness so if I did tell my friends that my father was schizophrenic, I'm, I'd be terrified of not knowing what they would say. And if it was negative, would I be able to keep that relationship with them? Does social media give awareness about schizophrenia? I would have to say to a certain point, media does give information on schizophrenia. However, I feel like you would have to go deep into the internet to find it you would have to personally go on google or anything and search up what is schizophrenia or um, what are the side effects of schizophrenia and when you have searched those it would appear symptoms side effects however i would say generalizing how there's advertisements and different platforms of media it's not portrayed a lot same with mental illness I feel like people should be more aware that these things are in current society and they should be portrayed more through the media. Thank you, Esther.